Martin Cita Pants. Me. Hello again, gents. Welcome back. You know, every time I see him, it just... He has to have a method for how he does this, right? He has to have a method for how he just shows up at random, just saying hello there again. Like, I... I I need to know his method. I, I need to understand the logic. One million subscribers. The number has well and truly gotten bigger. Yeah. This video is a Q&A. I asked you fellas to come up with a bunch of questions on this post, lots of which were really good, and some of which were not. <laughs> and in this video, I'm going to give you my answers. So, let us begin. Let us. Oh my god, it's the lettuce joke again. It's perfect. All right. First question. A nice relaxed opener to get the audience invested. Would you consider yourself fat or obese? <laughs> Chungoid, if you will. Thank you, Bubba Gaming. <laughs> Do channel memes that you start ever annoy you or come back to haunt you? Boat. Yep. Boat. They don't really haunt me, but people spamming boat in the chat does actually get very unfunny after a while. Lucky for me, though, for some mysterious reason, you guys decided to stop all at the exact same time. <laughs> this is good. That That's good. <laughs> I love that he had to go in and blacklist boat. Oh my god, that's perfect. And you have to <laughs> there's so many variations. God damn it. Oh Martin Cita Pants, you absolute legend. Curious. Mm. What's something you hate about your community? Uh Nothing. probably the um boat. Uh, the fact that none of you play the greatest anime game ever created. Genshin Impact. I'm about to make an impact. Wait, is he? did he actually get sponsored by Genshin? Uh, hello? Genshin Impact is an open world role-playing game. What roles can you play? Women. More specifically, yeah. anime women. Go on a massive adventure. Fucking ka with the stupid sus cat ears. Like, like we have Adepti in the game. It constantly bugs me that Kaching has all these like these like those 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 uh, hair things, and it's not even real cat ears. It just it, I don't know why it irrationally bugs me. Tavon, where seven different elemental powers hold control. The game has recently updated to version 2.4. What does that mean? Oh wow! More content, new characters, a new map, new events, and new outfits. Oh, <laughs> mommy Ningguang, and uh, that wow, we're at what 4.0 now? Wow, this is a while back. Yo, what do I gotta do to be a Genshin channel? Maybe I'll just be a Genshin channel at this point. And just, like, get sponsored by Hoyo and actually do Genshin content. I don't know. I actually don't know how hard it is to do that. <laughs> Play this game with Drip. your friends. Don't have any friends? Good. It's time to make some new friends. Introducing the returning characters, Zhongli and Ganyu. <laughs> Ganyu, my beloved. Actually, fun fact, if uh, you didn't know this, Zhongli was actually part of the inspiration for Kip 2.0. I actually, like, there were, uh, there were, like, like 20 to 30 pictures I actually cited by the end of the conversation I had with the artist. Zhongli was definitely in there. So you're welcome. Not that it's directly based on Zhongli, right? There's definitely differences here. But it was in consideration for Kip 2.0. Take the new characters to the brand new map. And can I demand with you? Yeah, real talk for a minute. Look at how goddamn gorgeous this game is. Holy shit. How do they do it? Look at this land festival. Every single area looks freaking incredible. What if you want to farm? Done. What if you want to fight? Done. And what if? You want to fish? Fish. Actually, that's how you get the free Sorry, weapon for riding. This cute call. <laughs> <laughs> I was on my other land. Once again, thank you to Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video. Use my link in the description to get it on iOS, Android, PC, or PS4 or 5. Do nice. it right now. Okay. I'm going back to fishing. But what if I already have Genshin installed, Martin C to pants? What if I already have it installed? What if I already dropped way more money than I should have? And I, to be fair, I got my C2 ride in Shogun. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, we're talking about Genshin. What if I have it installed? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> What's something you hate about your community? Uh, probably the, um... Boat? Uh, the people. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I actually really hate every single one of you on a personal level. If you ever approach me, Satire. I will not hesitate to kill you. <laughs> How many hours do you have on Factorio? And is it really that addictive? Yeah. 800 hours. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is your address? You would know, wouldn't you? Oh. Think about it. Where would I most likely live? <laughs> what video are you most proud of? <laughs> Inversely, which are you least proud of? Okay, most proud of, probably the KSP series. Least proud of, the first Factorio video. Now, I just want to oh. say, this Factorio video is the second most viewed Factorio video on all of YouTube. Yeah. Right behind my other Factorio video. <laughs> so clearly, a lot of people do like it. Yeah. But I find it very tedious. I mean, just listen to me. The knock to get me. Enemy of the factory and haters of progress. And the loud ha ha fun. Wait. 
So it, it really is true. Content creators are just super critical of the work. Like, so I put out as of recording with the Lord of the Rings short yesterday, and I realized that I made a typo in it, like an absolute loon. And it, it's it's driving me up a wall because now I know it's there and I could have done things differently. It's it's perfect. Words get old pretty quick. The KSP series is pretty cool. I've seen a few comments from people saying that they now study physics related subjects because of those videos, nice. which I think is pretty amazing. Maybe it's real. I hope it's real. That's cool. That'd be cool. If so. Not only that, but I just straight up think they're my best work. They are what good. What extremist political ideology do you subscribe to? Okay. This, is, this isn't any percent speed run, isn't it? This isn't any percent band speed run. Here? Nah. Maybe here. Nah. Oh. Over here? Oh. Nah. How about here? Nah. Fascinating answer. I like it. Right here. Oh, that's sending them. He didn't go right, left, up, down. He went on that Z axis. He has ascended to grill. <laughs> are you Australian? You know, what's your cat's name? Also, what are his hobbies? Oh, <laughs> so I actually have two cats. This yeah. one is Arnie yeah. and this one is Eddie. Yeah. Eddie lives most of his life at the neighbor's house. Sometimes he comes over to our house and spends his time eating this plant and vomiting up a few hours later. Yeah. And this is Arnie. His main hobby as of late has been staring at this particular patch in the garden for hours at a time. Mo absolute legend. I <laughs> what is the workflow to make a video like? Yes. So I got a bunch of people asking roughly this question. So I thought I'd outline it in detail in another video. Yeah. Probably on my second Wink. channel, so go subscribe there. I'll have to watch what that. What do you think about the current political situation in Ukraine? I'm telling you, it's an any percent yep. speed run. When did the channel blow oh, yeah. up? Right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, to answer that question properly, I really need to go all the way back to the beginning. It's 2011, oh. Oh. and I've just created my first YouTube channel. Following this, I discover Minecraft, the Yogscast, and Nerd Cubed. Hello, procrastinators! I see what they're doing. They play video game, they make video on video game, yeah. and get a lot of views. Yeah. I could do that too. So I got some shitty screen recording software for my 2011 MacBook Pro, got my eight-year-old brother on a Minecraft server, and recorded and uploaded six videos to my brand new channel in one day. Nice. The results? Great success, unimaginable fame, and Oscar-winning performance. Is what I thought would happen. Yeah. And dreamt about that night. What actually happened was nothing. Yeah. No views whatsoever. This this is definitely something that uh, new creators are going to deal with. Like, I even going to my, like, uh, the, the Kazuna Kip channel, and even on the VOD channel, right? This is one of those things that, because of how small they are, I have to like take into consideration. So I have to put my best foot forward in trying to uh, promote as well as just put content out on those. And that's not like where me being weird. That's not me trying to guilt trip anybody into watching them. You, your time is precious. Watch what you want. I'm just citing. This is what a lot of new creators are going to deal with going in. This is, I would argue more the norm than not. 10 year old me. Thank you for the drink. very sad. Not to worry. I made a few more videos here and there. One of which I remember managed to get 350 views. Nice. I thought was pretty amazing. It's then, awesome. Radio silence. Yeah. Ding dong. It's 2013. I've just started <laughs> high school and I've released another video. The first surviving video on this channel. Huh. This video is on the powder toy. What? I'm so high right now. Nice. Astounding. Mm. <laughs> it's not particularly interesting, but it's here. My next move was again radio silence yeah. until 2014 when i uploaded a bunch of videos these two are fronts to god a minecraft video this just cause 2 video which is interesting because it's called episode 6 and there aren't any other episodes on my <laughs> channel and these other two are fronts to god then yeah. i pulled my signature move and didn't upload for another year yeah august 2015 i upload the first public video still remaining on my channel sleeping dogs <laughs> this is the first video i uploaded with my new pc this pc to be exact Right there. Which was a significant upgrade from the 2011 MacBook Pro. Yeah. I made another two yeah. Sleeping Dogs videos and then made a bunch of videos on Battlefield 4. Were they any good? Eh. Mm. I put this one on the Battlefield 4 subreddit and it managed to get 450 views. That's still cool. not bad. I uploaded a few more things in 2017, one more video in 2018 on Armor 3, and that was it. Radio silence. My 37 subscribers were left waiting. Yeah. Now, as you can probably imagine, I've wanted to be a YouTuber for a very long time. But I never had a consistent style or idea to make into a channel. This but is actually what I'm struggling. This is why actually I like watching these expose bits on people, right? <laughs> Thank you for no ban. <laughs> um, because I get to see how other people have gone through this. Like right now, I'm actually at a crossroads at, in styles, actually, in, in works I want to do. There's actually something that I have uh, kind of I'm spitballing an idea in the background for a uh, expository series or multiple series that feed into each other. But 
that's like spitball territory. So you really come down to, do you want to do something that's going to be funny? Okay, what are people that are funny doing in this sphere, right? Are you going to be like a Mr. Beast? Are you going to be a Zero Lenny? Are you going to be a uh, Russian Badger? Are you going to be more like Shy Lily? going to be like Melody? Are you going to be like the Shoujo? going to be like Hollow Live, right? Um, or are you going to be more serious? Are you going to be someone like Mr. Ballin? Are you going to be someone like Coffeezilla, you know? And, you know, imitation is the best form of flattery. You're not going to be those people, don't get me wrong, right? But you can draw inspiration from what they do, right? So absolutely, you know, Martin Cedar Pants and Russian Badger, if I'm making a funny bit, yeah, I'm going to look, okay, how, what did they, how was their delivery impactful? How did their delivery work, if that makes sense, right? I'm going to be like, he's in a kip, oh man. I feel like I feel like that would be just the weirdest thing. Not in like a weird like a bad way, but it should be a weird a weird thing just like, oh yeah, no, I'm just, I'm being like Kazuna Kip. I'm just like, what? Why not a successful creator? <laughs> but I guess I'm not giving myself enough credit for that, right? Um no, but there's things to consider when making your own style and trailblazing your own format. But then, suddenly, I had an idea. Oh, Oh, no. I would make Both. videos on games I liked. Yeah. They would sort of be a review, but mainly I'd talk about why they're good. The right. style of these videos would mainly be influenced by these three YouTubers. The most ah, important part, is. however, was the upload schedule. There he is. You, you saw him, chat. You saw him, our boy. Who I'm actually really trying to not react to right now because I'm trying to play the nice style of these videos would mainly be influenced by these three YouTubers. There he is. There's our boy, Seth Zintach. And in a historian, I actually haven't seen Lazy Purple. The most important part, however, was the upload schedule. <laughs> yeah, that was me. I promised me. myself I would take as long as I needed to make the video that I wanted. And so I did. I started work on my Civ 5 video script in a library at university. Yep. This has been me, yep. And four months later, it was done. Here's a view graph of the start of my channel, and here's the Civ 5 video. Yeah. This was my first proper attempt at making a real YouTube video, and wasn't that bad. It got on average 10 views each day, many of them coming from Reddit and this clip. Yeah. For a first attempt, <laughs> not bad. No, I really not. Work. This gave me a pretty solid boost of motivation, and I got to work on my Just Cause 2 video, which I got done in like two and a half weeks, which is pretty much unheard of. Right? The next video was the Factorio video. Oh no. <laughs> the one I said in hindsight was kind of crap. As you can see by the graph, though, Big. it did pretty good. Big. On the release of this video, I had 80 subscribers, and over the next two months, that number grew to 153. Slow, but steady growth. I would argue as well that the growth is pretty fast, uh, all things considered, which I do have to remember consistently because I feel like I'm not doing enough, and I always feel like I'm not being a good creator. But then I remember that, like, even with dropping numbers at certain points, I'm like making exponential progress and I'm actually like fast tracking a lot of things. So now it's coupling that, especially with the state of react content right now and how much contention there is right uh, between creators, uh, certain things in the content creation climate, right? It's coupling that to have a better content ecosystem is really the next step that I'm having to try to, to wrap my head around and shorts as well. Cause shorts definitely help. Like this is over the course of a, prior almost unknown channel right over the course of two months to get to this point it is wild to consider really how fast i've grown and thank you everybody i do appreciate that uh found extra information the last year lower is your lane you because they go uh well i i mean that's why i take anime fans in certain aspects i take some of their comments about military history with a grain of salt and then i asked the actual military professionals in my life if that makes sense june 2nd 2020 i release my from the depths video and mm. oh boy boat does it do well um, after 30 days i go from 153 subscribers to 25,000. i mean that's more than me a single video jumped him up to higher than my kip reacts channel currently is that is the power of being passionate about what you do and finding your own style all from this one video yeah it's good. Then I made this one, and that one, and then this one, and the subs went like, Ooh. Yeah. Yep. And then it was now. Any tips for someone now. who wants to do it too? That is, make YouTube videos? Yes. It's all about the grind set. Yes. If you're starting at basically zero, then you can't lose. Yeah. Every video you make has a chance to pop off, and every time you don't pop off, you add another video for people to watch once you do. Yeah. If you make good content and are self-aware enough to actually know if it's good, then you will succeed. 
It's not a matter of if, but when. Yeah. I would add to that by saying quality is always better than quantity. Yes. No one wants to go through your back catalog of 2,000 Minecraft Let's Plays. Your videos need to be good. Uh, and this is actually something that I've adopted and I figured out pretty early on, I would say. So in order to get a lot of Kip reacts off the ground, and a lot of earlier Kip subscribers, <laughs> I love this name, my anus is hurtful. God, I love PC names, is that I was doing four, on occasion, five videos a day. So yeah, I was going, I was going hard at a point in time. I was really, really going hard into content, into rat content at one point. And, you know, it, it, not only on the creator side can it be stressful because I had to tag them. I had to make sure all the descriptions, all the tags were up, uh, make sure the naming convention was right. You know, and I eventually fell into a format, which you, it still survives today, right? How I have the uh, description, I have the video information, channel information, how I have the uh, the socials, right? Um, I, I did fall into a pattern with that that made that a little easier, but making the thumbnails as well, making sure everything is easily not, uh, make sure everything's good for monetization purposes, making sure they're staggered appropriately, right? So you don't want like four Badger videos in one day because, you know, you could be doubling up. But it also, from an audience retention standpoint, right? It's like, think if Badger had a banger video, like if theoretically he was able to put a video out every, like like four videos out every single day, it could eventually theoretically make it so people will get bored of the content or they'll be expecting more or it'll get old, right? Too much saturation being the case, right? And I mean, there's channels like Markiplier, like Mr. Beast that can put out video after video after video and, it, and it'd be fine. And I'm not saying that Badger's content's bad. Badger does a lot of work with this stuff and I absolutely love, love his content, right? It's why me putting out four videos a day is, it, it, beca it wore on a lot of people, right? And, you know, and I'm, uh, I'm cognizant of that and I respect that because, look, if you're going to sit here, if you're going to listen, you, that's time out of your day, right? If you're going to watch something, it is time out of your day. And, yeah, I can have a backlog of, what, going on 600 videos at this point. I don't expect anybody to go back and watch all 600 videos. That's why I have playlists up on the channel, right? So if you find me through a Martin Cita Pants reaction, right? <laughs> Plug for what we're watching right now, right? And you see, oh, he's reacted to the Skyblock video. Oh, he's reacted to the My Summer Car video, which I'm probably going to reprise those at some point. Get them up to quality, right? It's one of those things that, one, I can make sure my quality is up because I'm focusing more on quality now. But you don't have to sift through the backlog of, well, did Kip react to this one specific thing, right? I am going to have a backlog. That is just, unfortunately, the nature of the React channel. And, you know, that is why the search function does exist. Going, which is why going into other things, wanting to go into more edited works, right, is something that I feel like I want to go into at this point in time because it'll just be a little easier. But that's kind of my two cents on that. It, it's there is a thing where you can burn out your audience if that makes sense, and that's why I will max three videos a day at most at this point. On what reacts. made you want to speedrun Just Cause 3, three gosh darn times? It could. Well, the first time was a novelty. I wanted to see if it could even be done. The second one was mainly to try get other people to speedrun it since I thought a bit of competition would be fun. Yeah. And the third was to assert my dominance. Yeah. Bam! I'm curious what you have done as a study. Considering how you explain stuff in your KSP videos, you do seem somewhat familiar with physics. So did you study something in the STEM direction? Science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Yes, I did. Oh. So I've been playing KSP since about 2013, or since I was 12. Nice. So it's safe to say that it definitely had an impact on me growing up. In high school, I took a physics unit, which turned out to be my best subject. I didn't really study much in high school, which resulted in less than desirable marks for university. Yeah. I wanted to do engineering, but didn't have the required grades to get there. No. So instead, I did physics. Yeah. At university, I got my shit together, learned how to study, and did pretty well. Is that a frog? I didn't particularly <laughs> like this university course. Sure, I liked physics, but the way it was taught was kind of shit. The main physics unit I did had no lectures that you could physically attend, yeah. which I liked. Instead, it just had recorded videos that you watched online. Oh, how innocent. Boring. I was. Despite this, I got pretty good grades during my first year and managed to transfer to a better uni doing aeronautical engineering. Nice. This was quite a lot more difficult, but they had physical lectures. I mean, physical lectures were kind of cool. For two months. Yeah. Then, COVID hit. And pretty oh. much the entire city went into lockdown. Yeah, COVID had an impact on a lot of things. Now, instead of one class with recorded lectures, every single class I had, had recorded lectures. I remember having a particularly smooth brain moment when my tutor announced there would be an assignment over Zoom. 
<laughs> me, not realizing my mic wasn't muted, went, Oh no, an assignment. <laughs> the tutor paused. I realized my mic wasn't muted, and I crawled under my table in shame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I finished that semester and started on the next one when I decided I had enough of online uni and deferred my studies for a year to try pursuing YouTube. Yeah. That was October of 2020 and I had around 85,000 subscribers. The plan was to do YouTube full time for a year and see where I could go. I mean, this is kind of where I'm at at this point. Like I'm making enough and I don't remember, I'm having to push myself in a lot of ways. I, I last four days I've been, I've been, you know, be like, hey, I need to be sleepy, Kit, but I've gotten less sleep than I should, but uh, I feel great. Actually, I feel really great. I'm at this point, even with just react content right now, I'm, I am full time. You know, I went and bought Carl's Jr. Today with funds I've made from YouTube and Twitch. You guys are making this possible for me to do this and sky's the limit. I assure you, I'm going to continue doing what I can because it's really a rewarding field. It is a field that I believe in. And while there's definitely hurdles, right? Monetization, advertisers, uh, constantly shifting policies, policies that are double-sided, if that makes sense, there's a double standard there. The I show meat situation and YouTube okaying it, right? Think about that way, right? There's definitely stressors, but I really wouldn't trade it for another job. I really wouldn't. Well, it's been over a year and uh, I'm not going back anytime soon. Yeah. If you stack two lasagnas on top of each other, do you end up with one or two lasagnas? Two lasagna. One lasagna, just bigger. I disagree. It is it is two lasag. It is two lasaga. Do you ever fear that if YouTube or Twitch somehow die, you aren't in a position to stay financially stable? Now I used to think this a while ago, but no, not really. YouTube is absolutely huge. Yeah. In 2020 alone, viewers spent 100 billion hours watching gaming content on YouTube. I think that there was an argument and i think who was it that brought it to the forefront it wasn't yang ye who was it the whole thing was about advertisers pulling out of youtube i think it was lewis rossman i think it was allegedly potentially was talking about advertisers in youtube and moves youtube was having to make but that is a little above my pay grade and what i've researched as far as I'm aware, so here's the thing, right? You, I mean, we know that there's private videos, right, on YouTube, right? So what's their stopping bank of mountain, right? Just, just theoretical bank, right? From just hosting all their training videos on a private YouTube playlist, right? It's a good resource for them, right? The institution that I used to work at, not I'm not naming what it is, it's as it's not the point here, right? I'm not affiliated with them. They're not affiliated with me. And I make that distinction very clear. I've, I got pulled into a office with an executive because they saw me doing TikToks. And I'm like, are you serious? Let's put it that way. Like I, let's, let's, we are not representative of each other, even if I name them, which I'm not going to right. Um, I was saying institution, right? I mean, like they're there, they have a presence on YouTube. And I always was subconsciously comparing my growth to their growth. And I have, I have a larger uh, presence on Kip Reacts than they, than a official financial institution does. Let's put it that way. That's all I'm going to say. Please do not pry into who it was because we are not representative of each other and nor do I want to be affiliated with them. Let's put it that way. That's 11 million years. Yes. It's the second biggest website in the world behind Google. Literal billions of people use YouTube yes. every day. So I really don't see it going anywhere. What is far more likely is people lose interest in my channel for whatever reason. Right. And that's it. Channel's dead. Yeah. What car did you get? For those who don't know, after the battle... Specifically as well, there are ways to tank your reputation. Linus Tech Tips, LMG, LTT, right, are currently going through a exodus. I will say as well, from what I've heard of the Illuminati situation, she is hemorrhaging support. It's possible... And it's possible, what is it, Wings of Redemption is just a lol cow, allegedly, at this point, right? It's possible, but just be a good person. Martin Pants. every time I react to his content, every time I look at him, every time I watch his stuff, he's being genuine. He's just himself. He's not throwing some weird political ideology in your face. He's not, you know, not being a bully like Illuminati has been. And I feel like I don't even have to say an allegedly on that. We have how much evidence out there on the internet right now? And this isn't to throw shade one way or the other, right? Every time I watch Martin Cita Pants, it's, yes, popular. Don't get me wrong. And not that I think Martin Cita Pants will ever see this, right? Because of how many people do reactions to his content, right? 
he's genuine about what he does. I feel like I could have a conversation with Martin Cita Pants and generally get on get along pretty well because he just seems like super legit dude, and that at the end of the day is all that really matters. So if he just keeps doing what he's doing, he's gonna be fine. And I mean, he'll have my support unless something super heinous comes out. We're talking like heinous, right? But that's that's you know saying the sky is blue, right? There, everyone has that theoretical limit of okay, someone's not worth it, or, or someone just isn't worth it, right? But that's you know big brain, whatever. Martin Cedar Pants is good. Love him. Love his content. Absolutely recommend it. Let's leave it at that. Battlefield video was released. I let myself buy a car, which I've now done. It's this. A 2020 Mazda MX-5. Mm, I've already driven car. it about 2,000 kilometers, and it's very, very nice. Car. Car show. How does having such a large community impact your video production? Do you feel pressure to keep the fan base happy? Do you have a worry you could spiral out of control and turn into something you don't like? Okay, so in terms of the fans, they don't really have an impact. To be completely honest, I don't really care about what the fans want. Boat. Boat. If I find the video funny or interesting in some way, then I'm going to make it. People ask all the time if I could make a video on this game or look into this thing, but no. I don't want to, so I won't. As for it spiraling out of control, not really. I think I would have to do something very dumb for that to happen. Yeah. So I will simply not. Do I mean, he's, he's just playing what he wants to play, and that's actually why I don't react to some videos. Like, I've had videos reacted to me and series reacted to me. I look at, I'm just not interested in, or I look at it and go, I don't really think I can make a good react video on this, right? And or it's like trying to ask me, you know, Kip, do you want to make, make can you make a video on Command and Conquer Red Alert 2? And I'm just going to look at you and kind of scratch my head and be like, I mean, it's not going to be good <laughs> for all intents and purposes. I'm I'm really dumb when it comes to RTSs. It's not even funny. Like the only RTS I've really enjoyed was uh, Battle for Middle Earth 1, Lord of the Rings 1 from EA. And even then, I'm arguably really, really bad at RTS games, right? Versus something like, I don't know, Destiny, where I've run Rude of Nightmares how many times at this point, or even Vault of Glass, right? Yeah, I could maybe make a funny meme video on that. Maybe we're running Rat King at Nezarak or something like that, where I understand what I'm talking about, can speak from a place of confidence, and be able to work with that versus a work that I would have nothing about, if that makes sense, right? You like Spanian. Um, how Sp long did you Spanian? sleep after your 18-odd hour Just Cause 3 speedruns? Yes. Well, the first one I don't really remember. The second stream, however, I do. Not only was it more stressful than the previous one, <laughs> but it was still really, really long. When I went to bed that morning, it was dark and around 3 or 4 a.m. Yeah. And when I woke up, it was dark and around 7 or 8 p.m. Nice. Then I had dinner <laughs> and went back to bed and slept until it was bright again the next day. <laughs> Needless to say, that run completely killed me. Yeah. I mean, part of what I'm doing... So, I want to work on more works, but so the issue is that my time is being split up. I have to keep the React channel going. Like, I have to constantly feed it that one, two videos a day, right? I might start maybe backing off on daily shorts, but I do have to... If for all intents and purposes, that is the thing that's keeping my funding going right now. Maybe I'm debating on Patreon, but I'm kind of holding off right now. So, you know... He, he can take those breaks. And honestly, I've been debating on doing a subathon here pretty soon. I don't know what I'd play. Probably Kingdom Hearts or Pokemon. Um, but something to kind of draw attention, market, etc. Right? There are things that, you know, I gotta I gotta do to keep, you know, the lights on, keep maintenance costs going and stuff like that while making sure I, I'm a workaholic and I will work myself into exhaustion. Let's put it that way. I will work myself into being sick. So being a creator, being on YouTube and Twitch is has been a very interesting and great lesson in pacing myself and understanding I don't have to do everything in a single day. And in fact, I'm actually, you know, um, that's actually why I'm doing certain things that I do right now is that I will stage things in certain ways that eventually it'll all get done. And people have caught some of the back end, right? How there was the update thumbnail thing on one of the fat electrician videos. And I'm glad that some people thought it was a pun and thought it was, unintent it was unintentionally funny. Let's put it that way. But that's kind of my back end on how I do things. I really don't do thumbnails until like the day of or the day before, if that makes sense, because I want to do a good job making the thumbnail. I want to do a good job making sure everything is all set in stone. So it's been a very interesting as experience being a workaholic, being in content creation and understanding there will always be work, but you don't have to do everything immediately. Get good at voiceovers. Also, what's your process of writing scripts? Voiceovers. It's really pretty simple. Practice. Yeah. I like to voice out stuff as I write the script, which offers plenty of practice for reading it. Yeah. The place where I tend to get the most ideas tends to either be sitting on the toilet taking a shit 
or in the shower. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Also, just speaking louder. This is honestly the easiest way to make a voiceover sound better. If you think you're being too loud, move back from the microphone a bit and speak louder. <coughs> As for writing scripts, <coughs> I don't know. I'll be touching on this more in the video production video. So once again, subscribe to my second channel. I'll have to watch right that. Just, it's like, good. I, it's going to be good. You want to. Why did you choose the to. rainbow frog as your character? Were there any other characters that used before the frog? Okay, the rainbow frog was my YouTube profile picture, which I had when I released my Civ 5 video. So Boat. I just kept it. Boat. I have no idea what the picture was before the frog. And to be honest, I don't really care. Yeah. Frog. Why did you choose to name your channel Modern Cedar Pants? Pretty simple. It was the name my dad gave to my first email address. Nice. I then used it as my Minecraft username and eventually used it for everything else. Yeah. How did you decide on the kind of high-paced, whimsical humor? How big of a part does your editing play in it? And do you think getting another editor would make your vids lose some of that charm? Okay, so I never really decided what sort of humor I'd have. I just make stuff that I find funny. Just kinda, yeah, the high pace for is it. simply a result of me having less and less patience. Yeah. Once again, if you watch your own videos 50 times over before releasing it, you know which parts are boring and which aren't. Oh my God, that's so true. That's even with shorts, that is so true. I have hated going through certain sections of shorts. ...of editing, I think that's really where the funny comes out. Sure, I do write in jokes to the script. you will be sitting on the toilet taking a shit. But editing yeah. is really where they come alive. Now, about having an editor, right now I don't. I do all the editing myself. Yeah. But I am planning on getting some for my second channel. If yeah. you've worked with other YouTubers and know your way around editing software, do not be afraid to hit me up. How does it feel to be the only frog who... Oh. The only frog who... Oh. Who what? What? Do you have motivation to start and finish a series like KSP, or do you just kind of hop from video and game whenever you feel like it? I mean, I, I do the latter. I just kind of do if it sounds interesting. So this may shock you, but I never hop from video to video. Oh. If I did this, I'd start videos all the time and finish videos none of the time. Yeah. So why then are the KSP videos so spaced out? You may be wondering. Editing. Well, it's a deliberate decision. If I make four KSP videos in a row, then people are going to think the whole channel is about KSP. But it's not. Yeah, no, this this is actually a really good point. It's actually why I try to space out some of my content. So lately, right, you'll see, uh, oh, Kip, you're doing a lot of Badger content. You're doing a lot of Martin Cedar Pants content. You do a lot of Fat Electrician content, right? And it's not, it's, that's, I want to be more than that, right? Not saying that these aren't good creators, because they're all excellent creators. And I do highly recommend each and every one of them, right? It's that I want to space things out so you know that this is not, the only thing and and i have unfortunately fallen into where uh people seem to just want to watch my reactions to badgers content there is only a finite amount of badger content right now don't get me wrong like badger puts out a new video i'm watching that and as far as my ethics and standards go right i'm looking at 24 hours to sorry, excuse me 48 hours to 96 hours so the and so after two to four days around two to four days after the video has been out and in the algorithm then i'll post my reaction to that and while that can hurt me in the algorithm, I use it as a sort of personal ethics. So that way, the creators that originally make it do get the recognition in the algorithm that they rightfully deserve, that they can get paid, that they can continue to keep doing their jobs, right? And I, I'm <laughs> creative, but I'm not Badger level creative. I'm not Martin Cedar Pants level creative with an editing tool. I'm really not. I try my best. They have genuine styles and that's why i like reacting to this stuff i like watching their stuff offering commentary building on it they do deserve to be pushing the algorithm to the fullest extent though so that's why i give two to four days the channel's about me yeah it's true yeah me does your throat ever get hurt by screaming so much yes do you like to suffer yes yes <laughs> what recording software and editing software do you use obs studio audacity and adobe premiere pro obs studio uh, i actually need to figure out how to get my mic settings into audacity that's been a project i've been needing to get to for about two weeks it so. was the industry standard screen recording and it streaming is. software these days and it's completely free yeah so use it audacity is good for recording stuff like voiceovers and is also free and in terms of editing the exact software doesn't really matter it's no. about how you use it if you want some good editing software i'm told davinci resolve is decent that's actually what i use i'm actually using davinci resolve uh the fully licensed version i dropped like 300 dollars us on it and free so you might as well give it a go. Are there any video games that you would want to make a video on, but just don't know how to tackle them? Now, I made the mistake of leaving my laptop out while Tristan was in the house, <laughs> so we answered this question with this. Oh. <clears throat> oh. I tackle them by taking a huge shit nice. on the toilet. Usually. But sometimes, I like to sit back in my room completely naked. Nice. Thanks, Tristan. <laughs> what would be two pieces of advice you'd give to someone struggling to find their style of content creation? Mmm, this is this is one that I'm very curious on because I love different creators' takes on this question. Alrighty. Number one, 
make more stuff. Yeah. Again, if you're starting at zero, there isn't any downside in experimenting. See what you enjoy making, and then make it. And yeah, don't... Make, make a shorts video a day. Make content. You know, you don't... I mean, realistically, you don't have to do something every day, but the algorithm does like it. So... I, you know, I got to the point that I am by at least having a single upload every single day. And I decided this back in probably what? Oh, man, I'd have to look when I started doing it. It's been too long. And some of those old videos have been redacted at this point just because they weren't they weren't good at all. Ooh, old Kip was kind of cringe. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Not like a bad like way. It's just like like the audio quality, the redeem spam. It was rough for a little bit of time there. But yeah, I mean, you notice like I have an upload every single day. I played around with the times. Don't get me wrong. But having no, it was before February because I remember doing videos on leave and my leave was like January of 2023. So I've been going since last year at some point, which, wow, I, I'm approaching a year soon. What the hell? It's been a while. Get stuck in analysis paralysis. Yeah. Number two, don't give up or move on until the video is done. Yes. If you give yourself permission to scrap your first videos, then you won't ever make anything. Yeah. They're not going to be great, but that's OK. Don't give up. And before you know it, you'll have made something. I feel I that's going to be a badge of honor. I feel like I just need to like get people who were originally here and remember the Furret Walk trains and they just need to get a badge next to like their Twitch name or something. Are you going to wrap up the KSP Kevin conundrum? No, oh, I did make a partner mm. in December, didn't I? Perhaps. How much time do you put into your videos? I'm not talking about the editing. I mean, like, how long does it take for you to record all the stuff you do? Every time you release a video, it seems you've put days of playtime into it. So a lot of people have asked how long it takes to edit, but that's really only half the story. Yeah. Playing the game, writing the script, and collecting footage can also be an incredibly long process. Yes. For the Battlefield 2042 video, for instance, I spent almost 100 hours playing that game, yeah. trying to find interesting stuff. For the Factorio video, we spent around 85 hours on that single world. And for my most recent Just Cause 3 video, I must have spent over 100 hours planning out and practicing parts of the route. Yeah. Then, I need to write the script, which is often a painful and long process full of uncertainty and me thinking that all this time spent in the game was wasted. Then, begins editing, which yep. is relatively enjoyable and takes another two or so weeks. None of the steps in making video are really all that fun. They're quite fulfilling, but they aren't fun. But, you know, no, no. it's my job. That's life. I, I'm, I'm one of those people I fall in the camp of editing is a little bit of a chore for me, but it also depends on what I'm doing, right? So I can chop up uh, some of the shorts. It's when I add the subtitles. The subtitles probably takes about half the time. And like, I, I did like, I think I was on my fourth sub yesterday because I was making, or fourth short. I was making, I made four shorts yesterday. And some of which still have yet to be uploaded. They will, they'll go live soon. And it's, man, I got to my fourth one that day and I could not use the the text plus tool. I couldn't do it. Like my brain was just like, nah, you do three a day max, Kip. How much did you invest in starting your YouTube slash streaming stuff? So I started with a decent enough computer setup and a crap headset mic on my HyperX Cloud 2. Hey, the HyperX. very first thing I invested in was this USB microphone. I don't even know what it's called, but it cost me around 90 Australian dollars and nice. is good enough. Yeah. Fun fact. The arm that it sits on is more expensive than the microphone itself. Yeah. How much do you bench press? 70 kilos for one rep and 60 kilos for 10 reps. Nice. Not particularly incredible, but like most things, it's a process. Yeah. Maybe in a year I'll give you guys an update and we can see where we're at. Have you considered streaming more than your current stream rate of I stream whenever I require a deep vein yeah. thrombosis CBT <laughs> to escape my mother's cooking? Okay. First of all, my mom cooks great food. Nice. So shut up. <laughs> Secondly, yes. I want to try streaming on Twitch consistently. Now that I'm big YouTube man, it's time to weasel my way into the Twitch community like a parasitic tapeworm. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Twitch <laughs> is going to be my next big venture. I'll try streaming each workday, but I may have to cut that down if it's too much. And then I'll take the footage from those streams, throw them at an editor to make into shorter videos, and then I'll upload said videos on my second channel with hopefully some consistency. Right. Ultimately, this means more content for you. Yes. In what way has your content improved over time? And what would you tell your past self about making it on YouTube? Okay, so most noticeably, the voiceovers and the pacing. My older videos have a more dead sounding mart. For instance, purchasing great people with faith. For instance, purchasing great people with <laughs> Just speak up! And have much longer <laughs> intros that are kind of boring. As yeah. for advice for past me, I'd just tell them the video ideas that worked well and tell them not to make a Battlefield 2042 tier list. Oof. Pretty simple. <laughs> what other creators do you take inspiration from slash enjoy the most? Quite a few. Here's the list I compiled from my current subscriptions. Oh, These yeah. people range from current favorites to old classics that I don't really watch anymore. Yeah. But definitely had an impact on me. If you see your name here, say hello. You've seen very <laughs> rapid growth in what many would consider a short amount of time. It's very short, What's your yes. feelings on this burst in popularity? Also, early congratulations on a million subscribers. Thank you. I'll be honest, it feels good. But huh? I know I'll get used to it soon. There's a psychology term for this effect called the hedonic treadmill. 
Basically, you get used to better situations very quickly and are always left wanting more. Yeah. That being said, I don't take it for granted. I am very grateful. But every time I think about my YouTube channel, it doesn't just instantly fill me with joy and cure my every woe. And finally, many people asked, oh. will you ever reveal your face? No. <laughs> well, we, we, we've seen his face on stream. We've seen some React content. Nice. Hello there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know him being that far away from the mic actually made that actually great that was awesome that was it's been great and he's almost at two mil now so if you are coming here uh, to the uh, kip reacts channel and you have uh, this is your first time seeing funny frogman i do highly recommend funny frogman absolutely recommend martin cita pants and i want to see him hit the the two million subscriber mark you know do what i can to help out he's an absolutely epic creator i love the stuff he puts out he puts a lot of passion to what he does he's very knowledgeable and ultimately he is just a very just awesome person to watch so highly recommend it absolutely if you uh haven't seen him and i will see you in the next one if you're on the channel